Hi, and welcome to my um, daily talk, daily chat. Come on down, come on in, have a listen. Um, my, name, my name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert and help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. And I'm also a passionate champion of the divine feminine. Today's topic is more of everybody, not just for the romantically inclined or the feminine specific although it may speak to women more than men in this case. And before I get to that, um, these are my daily talks called Messages, the Masculine, Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart, or to inspire your feminine heart. Subtle changes. And this one is number 356, yes, 356 in my ongoing series of daily talks. And today's one is um, Stop Waiting for Someone to Help You, Fix You, Make You Feel Right, um, of validation um, it's time to do it now and to be honest this was two different posts on Facebook that inspired this um, topic and to be totally transparent <laughs> both those quotes hit me hard because it was on me as well and recognizing where I've come and where I'm going so it's not meant to be just a self-disclosure video this time it's actually to hopefully help you and inform you and inspire you it's kind of my thing so let me start with my own perspective and then see how I can support you with some messaging from that, lessons, learning, and next steps. <clears throat> okay, so I just, get to, just had to review that for a second. Being transparent and speaking for myself first, because I'm going to teach those examples to you shortly, so bear with me as I go through my own bio, as it were, in some sense. My whole journey in this work, my whole mission, as it were, what's been pulling me forward, pushing me forward, and inspiring me, has been <laughs> the words that came up were God given. No, that's not quite right. Spirit driven, let's put it that way. They came from inside. They weren't, th I mean, there was a need out there I saw, I felt, an, I felt this place I had to serve and, in, and, to, sh and to come from, which you can call purpose, mission, drive, something like that. And the thing was, is that I didn't wait for someone's permission. In the past, I would have, in some way, shape, or form. Second part of that is that in this work that I'm doing and where I'm going with this, I, I, I've said it before in some of my previous videos, that I'm sort of feeling I'm heading towards the direction of actually creating partnership with someone special, that she will be my partner in life and in the work that I do. But as you've, if you watch my broadcast, the last 360-something broadcasts, um, 350-something broadcasts, you know that I'm not waiting for that or her. It's happening anyway. And what I'm also aware of, to be absolutely transparent, is that I see the views view count on my broadcasts. And quite often they're not that high. But what I'm also clear about is I'm not waiting for them to show up. One of the things that I've been learning clearly is this: these messages... They land for the right people. I've actually had people reach out to me as clients, which is they reach out to me to become clients because of my talks, that, you know, it doesn't matter if I have a thousand people watching my broadcasts, live or in the replays, but if one person gets inspired, if one person changes their life, if one person gains value from what I've shared, and I know that it's actually more than that happened from feedback, then I keep going. Well, not, no, that's not what I was saying it then I'm grateful for what I've done because I'm keeping going anyway. That's the other part. So what I want to speak to you about from my own experience, I'm just saying I'm proof of the pudding, as it were, is that whatever your driven purpose mission to, is inspiring to do, go do it. This is, again, this is not just about relationship-centric conversation. Well, they can definitely apply it to that. But I want to speak to this as a point of view of um, being an agent of change, being an inspirer of others, being a messenger of inspiration, because that's kind of where I come from. If that's something inside of you that's been pending, that's been stirring, that's been waiting to happen, get on it now. <laughs> Put it simply. I'm watching, I'm watching competing ideas come forward, so let me rewind for a second. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, 
I tend to find stuff comes through, not just from because it's not scripted. They're not planned. They're bullet points. The only thing that's scripted is the title that I put up before I broadcast, and this title showed up five minutes ago, so it's brand new. And so I'm speaking literally um, in a flow of consciousness. I'll say it's off of my head, but you know, not much up there. <laughs> a little self-deprecating humor doesn't hurt anybody. But the recognition for me is that this is something that. Um, fuels what I do and with my clients it's something that I'm very passionate about reminding them about in every single time we interact about moving forward because to be honest with my clients I provide homework it's not something I just say really talk and then we're done we have homework and it's based on what we talk about and the reality is that I want them to move forward and sometimes I have to light a fire under their butt to be transparent um, but also from the point of view that I really want them to have the best and that's the fuel that drives me because that's my service to other people. Because I do that for myself. I actually have a coach myself that works with me to push me, move me, nudge me, inspire me, move me forward. That I chose into because I needed to keep myself on track. So the two things I'm realizing I'm talking about at the same time here. Yes, I am talking about two things now. Again, not scripted, not planned. Is that there is a desire, a need. I believe, for all of us to get guidance and to support you where we want to go. In fact, I've said this before, but any good coach has their own coach. So if you're looking for coaches, always seek one who's got their own coach that's working, studying, learning, growing themselves, because nobody has every, knows everything. <clears throat> There's always more. Secondly, if you're sitting on the fence about doing your own life more, it's about living your own vision, inspiring, sharing your own message, being whatever that is for you, to express your, your journey, your purpose, your vision, your value don't wait for any validation there isn't any if it comes it's not relevant yes it's appreciated but it's not relevant your value is self-generated in fact I'm, I now know where it's time okay now I see where it's going um, again transparency I'm part of a I'm, I'm a co-author on a book that's coming out in August and we're creating um, gifts and programs that are springboards for, springboarded from that book and I was sitting with what I was going to create and then I realized as I'm talking about this now that's what I've been writing about <laughs> duh <laughs> is the recognition is that that it's kind of like do your own work what I'm clear about in what I'm creating it's an offering that will help people um, find their own way to do their own work to feel their own love and fill up themselves See how self-centered that is? That's intentional. For many people, there's this push that they go, well, when I have that, when I do this, when this person shows up, when that thing happens, then I'll be ready. Uh-uh. There's a... No, I'll go there yet. That's not relevant yet. Sorry, I'm just watching what's showing up. So this is a reminder to you that take the steps now. You know, it's kind of like look before you leap and trust when you walk forward it's, I mean there's a, it's a mixed metaphor I know this time and put it somewhere it's clear is that sometimes you won't know this, uh, this is the piece I want to say for some people it feels like they want to wait till the whole plan is laid out for a thousand miles ahead but the truth is until you take the first step you won't know what the second step is and so sometimes it's taking a step right in front of you that you must do before the next one be revealed. And if you're sitting there waiting, like, well, I'll get started when everything's laid out, when the next 3,500 steps are laid out. It doesn't happen that way. And you'll be waiting and waiting and waiting, and nothing's going to change. Whether you're looking for the perfect relationship, or if you're working on your clarity of vision where you want to go, or you're even looking for a job, you've got to take steps, take an action step. So waiting for validation, waiting for someone's approval, waiting for anything outside to move is, an, is a is out of sequence. Because when you do what you're really meant to do and you line up for your true calling and you're doing what's meant to happen, you will get feedback from your universe, in quotes, that, that environment you're in, and you will actually receive guidance. There's another piece dropping in. Okay. I love this, the way this works. There's the step-by-step -step process I just mentioned about taking the next step for the next step reveals. This ties back to um, how feedback works in the sense that, okay, 
Let me take a slight analogy, detour slightly. Come with me in this little adventure. In the world of aviation, in particularly commercial airlines, there's the thing about what they call, what's called um, autopilot. I'm sure you've heard of it. That's when you're flying in a plane, the plane is an autopilot. The thing about autopilots, and I've shared about this last year sometime, autopilot is this um, device that keeps the plane on course. What's actually doing is keeping the plane back on course continually because the plane is generally wandering off course all the time. So when you're flying, for example, from LA to New York, you're actually going from LA to New York via all the different places the plane's trying to detour to because because of thermals, because of air currents, because of everything else, the plane does not fly in a straight line from LA to New York. That's why the autopilot is always is also um, course correction. And that's really what it's doing most of the time. It's course correcting. So basically, if you've got a straight line going from A to B, what's happening is you're going off course, then back on course, then off course, and back on. You're zigzagging, basically. So feedback about how you're going towards your goals, your vision, even your relationship, is also part of that same process, attempting to put this back into place. When you're going to walk forward on your steps, take that first step in towards your vision. Again, you can't wait for the 3,000 steps to line up ahead of you for your vision goal, whatever it is you're working on. It won't happen that way. But if you take your first step, then you can look and reevaluate with feedback. So you go one step forward, and you go, hmm, now what? And then there's a clear sign where the next step is. Second step, and then third step. And so basically what happens is you take each step, re-gauge, re and take a next step. It's kind of like... Um, in a way, it's almost like if you're climbing a mountain, people climb mountains and they have um, base camps along the way or they have camps along the way because you can only get to a certain point for you to reset and before the next one because you might find the course changes. The same thing is true with life. Your vision, your intention, your goals. And this, I've been recently talking to a client about this is why it's so relevant in my head, is that the true success is not a single focus, pull the bow back and fire and it goes all the way to the target and you're done doesn't work that way however that one step at a time reevaluate second step at a next step reevaluate next step reevaluate and so on and so forth is absolutely fundamentally powerful way to work the key take your first step don't wait for the validation approval whatever else if you feel the urge feel the drive and feel that um, inspiration that's all you need and that's why as I said at the beginning, what drives me in my work is continuing inspiration. I mean, these Facebook Lives I've been doing, this is number 356. To be honest, I'm not doing them for you. <laughs> um, I'm doing them because they keep coming through and because I'm doing it for me. And the truth is, what's happening is this is, in some ways, yes, I love the fact you benefit. I mean, I'm saying I'm doing it just for me selfishly, as I'm just doing it for myself. I wouldn't even do it publicly. But these talks are intended for me to become more effective as a messenger to become more effective as a guide and for me to provide a service to anybody who's watching. So it really is self-centered. I'm saying that carefully. <laughs> so that by doing that, I can become a better vehicle to support you in getting where you want to go. My invitation to you is to do the same thing yourself. Corey was, oh, we teach what we most need to learn. I was just writing about this today. Well, I continually learn from what I'm teaching, so I agree with you on that one. Um, and in some ways, I know because of what the clients have been showing up, you know, they say when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. And in this context, if you're someone who's looking for the next steps, for the new vision, the new direction you want to go in, the right teachers will appear. That's where some of the clients found me through this, through other mediums or other platforms, because they were looking for that at the time. And ta-da, even though I'm already doing what I'm doing, I wasn't in their appearance. I wasn't showing them their lives the way that I needed to or they needed to to find us. So this whole thing works if you're willing to take the first step. Again, don't wait. Take a first step now. Whether it's in your love and relationships, the area of purpose and vision and direction, if you're looking to be a coach yourself, looking to step out in the world of, of business, whatever that is for you. Maybe it's changing a diet. Take a first step and you'll be amazed at what shows up to meet you. And that's the thing. The piece, the key, the lesson is the more you step into that truth of taking a step on faith, that that first leap, as it were, although I say take a step you can step into, not a leap, because you might leap off the edge and you want to do that. But take the next steps, you see what's ahead. Again, 
if you're doing a journey of a thousand miles, until you take the first step, you can't see how far that, that journey is because it may not be a straight line. In fact, it probably isn't. Again, like that feedback system of, of autopilot. Your steps you take are independent of what's ahead. Because, or, so when you take a step one, step two might be a right angle because you didn't see what was ahead the first step. Because truth is you can't see that far ahead. In terms of your vision and goals, you can't see more than a few steps ahead. So rushing ahead 15 steps isn't a smart move. I highly recommend when you're looking for this, working with this idea, you take the next step and then reevaluate. You know, with my clients, I'm working with them usually for three to six months because it takes so much time to change direction. So even though it's a longer journey, it's a more supported, more directional, and it's a more profound journey because by the end of that journey, their goals, their visions, their hopes are now reality. That's the power of doing this work in a incremental step-by-step, -step, but also profoundly deep journey. I think that makes sense. <laughs> this, this, again, this broadcast wasn't planned in terms of what I was going to talk about, and the topic that showed up at the top has already become like four different pieces, but I think it's come together. Whatever's driving your heart, don't wait for somebody else to approve of it. It isn't up to somebody else to give you approval to um, validate you. You are already validated because you're here. And if you're doing what's called of you, even better. So don't wait. Don't procrastinate. Take your next step. Take your next action now. I need to say it clearly. Take your next action now. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> this is my area of focus and my work and what I'm doing with my clients. So if there's area you want to get help in, you know where to find me. Um, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, they're usually in the area of other relationships. This is actually a slight detour, in a way, from what I usually talk about, but they are my usual talks every day, called Measures the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart, and this one is set part of the same alignment. It's number 356. All of these live on my business page on Facebook, as well as on my YouTube channel, which are in respect in sequence, um, facebook.com forward slash barryselby.author. Or on YouTube, it's, uh, username is Barry Selby. Playlist is Messages from the Masculine. If you're looking for help in the area of the relation, love and relationships or in the area of purpose, I'm helping people with that too now more often than not. Um, go to my website, click on the Let's Chat button and, and sign up for three, a free 30-minute conversation where I can help you get some clarity. Thanks for the feedback. Thanks for the input. Thanks for the love. Thanks for sharing this out. If you have any questions, comments about this broadcast, I'll answer them when I want to sign off. I appreciate you being here. And... Homework, yes, I was waiting for that. <laughs> in case you haven't seen my broadcast before, I do give homework pretty much every day. This one's simple. Whatever setting aside that urge to do something, that next step you haven't been willing to take, write it out. So I was going to, I was going to say take it. I'm not saying that yet. What I'm suggesting is that you be willing to write out what is your next step is. And then, and then, if it feels aligned to your heart, not what your head's thinking or saying, what it feels aligned to your heart, that step lines up, take that next step and then yes and then tell me what it was message me over facebook or social media or comment through youtube or go to my contact page on on my website and send it to me there i would love to know how this works for you there's two part homework well actually three write it down take the action let me know <laughs> if you wish no no pressure of course but do it now Thanks for watching. Thanks for being with me. I'll be back in tomorrow with number 357. We'll see what that one's going to be about. And um, thank you for watching. I appreciate you watching, even though I said I'm doing this for me more than anybody else, it seems. But I appreciate you being part of this conversation. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you tomorrow.